What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So we got a quick Steam Deck update video here. For those of us who do like to mess around with Windows on the Steam Deck, we've been waiting for proper drivers for the Steam Deck OLED when it comes to audio and just really performance in general there versus what we had over on the LCD. And we finally got those from Valve. Actually, there's been quite a lot of information from Valve coming out the past couple of days when it comes to the operating systems from Windows to SteamOS and different devices, even into dual boot that's still being worked on and all of that. So there's been definitely some movement coming out of Valve when it comes to stuff for the Steam Deck and for Steam OS. So let's get into a little bit more here. I want to take a look at the Steam Deck Windows resources page and I'll put a link to this in the description as well. It's largely unchanged as far as uh, some stuff here but we do now have the full Steam Deck OLED section and a Steam Deck LCD section where these are now separated. We have the dual boot with SteamOS not yet available. This was already basically here, but we did get an update the uh, other day in an article uh, that they are still working on dual boot for Windows and SteamOS. Apparently it hasn't been scrapped, at least not yet. They just haven't got that where they want it. So hopefully they can create a really seamless way to do that, much better than what we've been able to experience on the Steam Deck so far. Uh, you've got some notes down here for installing Windows and I also have some guides here on the channel and there's some great guides on YouTube for installing Windows and even if you have trouble with that and you need to recover, um, you can do a recovery which I also have a video for that. So if you get into this and it doesn't work out or you right away want to get back to SteamOS and you haven't done dual boot or anything or either way, it's easy to restore your deck and get that back to SteamOS really quickly, easier than it is to restore Windows. So I'll have a link for that as well in case you need it in the description for the uh, the restore and recovery of your Steam Deck and as well as the Steam Deck Windows resources page. Now here for the Steam Deck OLED, it says important for Bluetooth to work properly, you'll need to get the latest BIOS through the Steam OS beta update 3.6.9 or later do this before installing Windows. And the only issue I know about this is I haven't tried it, but I've heard that the beta BIOS there can be a little quirky, but that's what you need to do before you get into the whole Bluetooth part here for that. But everything else should be working. We have uh, the APU driver, so for your graphics for the APU here, uh, the CPU, that whole situation, the driver's update as of August 15th now, the SD card reader uh, right here, Wi-Fi driver, Bluetooth driver here, remember about the uh, beta BIOS that you're going to have to deal with, and it says, no, Bluetooth audio is currently um, output only, microphone functionality is still being worked on, so it is limited still when it comes to Bluetooth support, and then we have the audio drivers here for that, and a note, audio currently only works via headphones or Bluetooth audio, speaker drivers are still being worked on, which is disappointing for me. I'm not a big headphone user when it comes to these handhelds. I prefer the speakers work. So it does say they're still working on the microphone issue for Bluetooth and the speaker issue for the audio driver. So I'll be watching for those updates. I'm probably not going to put Windows over on my OLED just yet until that happens. And then we'll probably check it out when we're getting audio through that, when I can test the microphone and that kind of stuff. But they're getting really close and I really appreciate the work the Valve is doing here. And while I know a lot of you out there think it's blasphemy to put Windows on a Steam Deck, and I understand SteamOS is certainly the soul of the Steam Deck, and I enjoy the heck out of SteamOS, but I do like to play around with my tech devices, I do like to mess with Windows, I do like to feel a little naughty and play games like Call of Duty and stuff like that on the Steam Deck through Windows, which I can do some of that through cloud on SteamOS as well, but natively to get that experience. I think it's fun, but I totally understand those who don't want to mess with that or just think you should stick with SteamOS. I get it, but I love the fact that Valve does support this. They do continue to work on these drivers, albeit a bit slow, in my opinion. They do work on them. They do allow this to happen. They don't have the device locked down. And not only that, not only do they allow and support somewhat Windows on the Steam Deck, they also are looking to move SteamOS to the ROG Ally and other Windows handhelds officially, which we talked about the other day. So in my opinion here, Valve continues to be the most consumer and gamer friendly when it comes to the handheld scene and when it comes to their operating system and all that. They may prefer you use SteamOS over Windows, of course. They may prefer you have a Steam Deck other over, over other devices, of course. But they're going to open that door for you to have Windows or SteamOS on your deck or your deck 2, hopefully, or whatever. And to have SteamOS or Windows on your Ally or on your Go. And I just think that's really cool of Valve to do. I prefer that. I want to buy a product like the Steam Deck and use it how I want to run the software I want to on it and not have it locked down. And I think they've done a great job of that. And also other companies like 
for the ROG Ally or the Legion Go. <clears throat> it doesn't sound like they'll lock those down or have any issues either when it comes to being able to swap and put SteamOS over there. So I hope the handheld scene stays kind of friendly and open like this so we can all continue to have a lot of fun with it. And I'll definitely keep an eye out on these Steam Deck OLED drivers to see if we get some more updates to get those speakers working, the microphone working, and I might jump in, do an install on this, but for right now I'm gonna stick with my LCD when it comes to the Windows videos and my OLED for SteamOS. All right guys, thanks a lot for coming to check out the video. As always, let me know what you think in the comments down below, and I'll see you in the next one.